Today we're going to do a little bit of destructive testing and have some fun uh, making sure that the safety mechanisms work properly on the HHO cell. We'll come in a little closer here. There we go. There is the uh, sandwich bag plastic stretched over the, the tube all right, with the collar sitting on top of that as the as the blowout mechanism. I have the cell warming up. It's pulling about 13, 14 amps right now, producing some HHO. It actually produces it fast enough where I can feel it pushing the, the breeze on the back of my hand. Um, down here, I have a gas grill igniter that I picked up from Home Depot for about 10 bucks. It came with the, uh, the little sparking mechanism, the little electrode, and I took that off, actually used that to replace the one on my gas grill. But let me show you. All right, this is the end of just a piece of uh, speaker wire. All right. And I think you can see the spark that it creates. right there. Yeah, there's the spark that it creates. I'm just going to set it in the end of a piece of vinyl tubing like that. All right, that's my spark ignition and attach the tube to the outlet of the cell. Stretch the wire all the way out, stand way back, turn the cell on, and see what happens. Okay, you can see out in the driveway I have the cell set up. It's being powered by a 10 amp battery charger right now. It's just producing a small amount of gas, but it's keeping the chamber filled with a stoichiometric uh, mix of the HHO gas. Um, the wheelbarrow is a standing blast shield to prevent any fragments from hitting my wife's car should uh, the cell actually rupture. I'm a little bit nervous. I ended up uh, using my time-tested method of the one strand on the end of a zip cord shorted out uh, at the end of a long extension cord. So um, I'm going to zoom in now. Unfortunately this is only a digital zoom so I apologize for that. Okay. Okay. That was a complete success. I want you to see this. This is the cellophane, piece of cellophane that was blown out. And you'll notice it was blown out very cleanly at the edges. So the rate of combustion is so fast that it literally took it and blew it straight up as a disc ripping it away from the edges rather than bursting from the center and leaving leaving the plastic intact it just removed it from the opening <laughs> 